Excretion. Excretion is the process by which waste products of metabolism and other non-useful materials are eliminated from an organism. In vertebrates, this is primarily carried out by the lungs, kidneys, and skin. We'll focus on excretion of nitrogenous wastes from the kidneys. The kidneys filter the blood of many substances. One of their jobs is to remove nitrogenous wastes from the blood. These wastes are produced in the liver and transported to the kidneys in the blood. Nitrogenous wastes are produced because the amino groups from excess amino acids are removed at the liver and secreted into the blood. These nitrogenous wastes include urea, uric acid, and ammonia. Creatinine is also produced at the muscles as a product of the breakdown of creatine phosphate, another nitrogenous compound. Eventually, these nitrogenous wastes become a major component of urine. Let's take a look at the structure of the urinary excretory system. Since the urinary system filters the blood of waste, a large volume of blood arrives via the renal artery. Urine is formed at the two kidneys and travels down the ureters to the bladder where it is stored. Sphincter muscles controlled by the autonomic nervous system control the passage of urine into the urethra and out of the body. How the kidney works. Blood is delivered to the kidney for filtration by the renal artery. Blood leaves the kidney through the renal vein. Each kidney has three major regions. The renal cortex, which is the outer region, the renal medulla, the inner region, and the renal pelvis. The cortex and medulla contain an average of about one million individual filtration units called nephrons where urine forms. They are not visible on this image. The urine is then directed to the renal pelvis, a cavity for urine collection, and then moves on to the ureter. The renal pelvis is the site of kidney stone formation, which results when minerals in the urine precipitate out of the urine, forming solids or crystals. Kidney stones can result from a diet that contains excess calcium, sodium, animal protein, or vitamins, and from dehydration. The functional unit of the kidney is the nephron, where blood is pressure filtered through capillaries that make up the glomerulus. The filtrate whatever gets through travels through the tubules. Wastes are concentrated because materials that the body needs to keep, such as water, amino acids, and glucose, are reabsorbed back into a system of blood vessels called paratubular capillaries. For the sake of simplicity, the paratubular capillaries that surround the kidney tubules will not be shown so that we can concentrate on the kidney tubules themselves. Blood vessels we can see in this image include the afferent arteriole, which delivers blood into the glomerulus under high pressure, the glomerulus, a network of capillaries where pressure filtration takes place, and the efferent arteriole, which takes blood out of the glomerulus and becomes the paratubular capillary network. The nephron tubules shown in green include the Bowman's capsule, which captures the filtrate as it leaves the glomerulus. The proximal tubule, loop of Henle, distal tubule, and collecting ducts, which are responsible for reabsorption of materials back into the blood and concentration of urine. In the next video, we'll take a look at how urine forms at the nephron.